Hi guys, my name is Vladka and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you how to make a tassel for your bookmark. But before I do that, I would love to give a shout out to Carolyn from Friends, an amazing notter behind the Nocta Notes Instagram account. Carolyn loves making friendship bracelets and her dream is to one day open her bracelet shop. She is selling her beautiful friendship bracelets via Instagram DMs and Facebook Messenger. So I'll link her Instagram account in the description below, in case you'd like to check it out or buy some of her amazing creations. If you'd like to be featured in one of my next videos, you can apply by filling out the form linked in the description below. Each week I'll randomly pick one author and give them a well-deserved shout out. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you do not miss my new tutorials. Now, are you ready for some knotting? Then let's begin. Today I'm going to be making a tassel for this bookmark here, but you can make it for any type of friendship bracelet which has any kind of loop. If you do not know how to make a bookmark loop, I'll link the tutorial in the cards and in the description below. To make the tassel, I am using two strings, each 60 cm long, folded in half, which I'll use to make the twisted tie. A bunch of scrap thread, which I'll use to make the tassel, each about 20 cm long. And two shorter strings, which we will use to connect the different parts. First, Fold the strings we'll use for the twisted tie in half. Then, attach it to the bookmark by pushing the top part through the bookmark loop and then pulling the bottom part through the loop at the top part of the strings in order to create the knot. Tape the bookmark down and we can start creating the twisted tie by splitting the strings into the two groups and twisting each of the groups in the same direction, to the left in my case. Use your fingers to help yourself while twisting and to make sure one group does not untie while you are twisting the other. Then, start twisting them together in the opposite direction to the right in my case. Hold the ends of the ties firmly so they do not untie. And again, use your fingers to help yourself. If you'd like your twisted tie to be thicker, just add more strings in the mix. For example, instead of four strings in total I am using, you can use six or eight. I like it thinner, so that's why I use four. When you are satisfied with the length, and I like to measure it to match the size of the bookmark. Press the end firmly with your fingers and tie a knot, so it's secured. Now, take the thread you are going to use to make the tassel. I'm using a bunch of scraps I have, and the more you have, the thicker the tassel will be. Spread it nicely like this. And place the twisted tie in the middle of it, so that the knot at the end of the twisted tie is about the halfway from top to bottom of the scraps. Then wrap the twisted tie with the scraps, distributed evenly around it. Take one of the shorter strings and tie it around the scraps and twisted tie, above the knot at the end of the twisted tie. Make sure to tie it firmly a couple of times. Once done, take the scraps at the top and flip them over and spread evenly around the knot.
Now you need to tie another knot with the second shorter string under the knot at the end of the twisted tie. I usually make two square knots because I like how they look, but you can tie another types of knots as well. If you do not know how to make square knot, I'll link the tutorial in the cards and in the description below. Once done, all you have to do is adjust the top part and cut off the excess strings at the bottom and your tassel is done. Do you like it? Will you try to make it? Let me know in the comment section below. If you found this video useful, like and comment and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you do not miss my new tutorials. Not with you next week. Bye!